Dire Team Ban. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Tech Labs Cup 2014 Land Finals in Moscow, Russia. It's Next KZ versus Team Empire here. Best of three series for the winners bracket finals. Thanks for joining us on Beyond the Summit. My name is Mont. Game number two already underway. Game number one, a bit of a quick one. Empire showing once again why they are the best as of recently. They're they're pretty dominant, almost unstoppable to a certain extent. They've lost a couple of games here and there in the past months, but as it stands right now, they are just on an, a whole nother level than pretty much every other team out there as of right now. And they continue to show it. They have dominating performances in games like the previous one, and, and they'll try to do it again here. Next KZ, they're avoiding to go down the lower bracket right now. They've got to get a victory and force this to a game number three. But if not, they'll head down. They'll face up against Rock's Kiss in a best of one series to find out who goes to the grand finals. So as it stands, Team Empire, they've got the Batrider. They've got the Invoker. They've got a good draft going their way. They have the Nature's Prophet Ban, the Shadow Fiend Ban, Centaur War Runner, and the Naga Siren. On the other side of things, the Ember Spirit, the Lycan, the Luna, and the Visage. Ancient Apparition and Chen picked up for next KZ. So they go for equals kind of bread and butter once again. This time, equal going to be playing the Chen, it looks like. And he will have that Hand of God. Does synergize well with a couple other heroes. Dazzle's available if Team Empire want to go for it. But in the past couple of games, they've let it go. And other teams have had it. And it hasn't really worked out in their favor. So Empire, they're not really that interested in it, it seems like. And honestly, they know how to play against it. They have reserve time right now. They do need supports, but they also need a carry if they want to go down that road. Probably wait till their last pick to pick that up. But in terms of supports, not many better than Dazzle. Ancient Apparition is going to come out, and next KZ are going to do real great with that. But Ice Blast isn't going to be enough to deter any of the aggression from Team Empire. And now we get to see how Resolution plays his Invoker. Quas Wex, Quas Exhort, what are they going to go for here? Vangscor, excellent Dazzle player. There's a couple of videos from Noob from UA on his YouTube channel about his play, specifically in Star Letter and what he's done. Uh, his Shallow Graves have been impeccable, saving the life of resolution many a time when he's gotten caught out of position so uh, not only just resolution but the rest of his teammates as well so we'll see if Vanscore can really help his team thrive and survive here in this series and specifically in this game for next KZ they're gonna go for the storm spirit they're gonna pick up that hero that has such great lockdown potential later on into the game very difficult to lock down himself he has that ball lightning he's slippery in conjunction with an ancient apparition could do pretty well Chen as well he could send him back home as quickly as possible but Team Empire, they might not be too concerned about that as they pick up the Bane. Fiend's Grip going to come through. So they've got lockdown potential. So early fighting as well. Um, Brain Sap's going to be difficult to deal with on top of Poison Touch. If they decide to go for that defensive type of trial lane, they could even go aggro. Uh, because there is that Shen for next KZ. They can dodge. That's something that next KZ can do. But now we're getting into the meta of this draft a little bit too much. And we have to wait and see what actually is picked before we really discuss any further. So next KZ, they don't need a support, they don't need their mid, remaining. they really just need a safe lane farmer and an offlaner. You can use the Storm as a safe Five lane farmer, but remaining. it's questionable and it's really difficult to pull off unless you have the right lineup to grab kills early on in the game. So next KZ, they're more than likely going to go for something that they can put in that safe lane. Clockwork, that's going to be their Radiant offlane hero. Tough to lock him down. Poison Touch and Nightmare, that'll help, but it's not going to be able to keep him away from using those cogs. So... It really comes down to one Empire want to pick up last year for their carry, for their safe lane farmer, I should say. Invoker is going to be not somebody that can carry this into the late game, so maybe somebody more hard carry oriented. It depends on how early they want to take this. They can't go for a like it and was banned out. They had it in the previous game. They got kind of lucky with that pick. But as it stands now, it's just not available to them. So they've got one minute and 15 seconds left in reserve time right now. Empire are really racking their brains and saying, what do we not want to deal with? in that safe lane. What do we not want to let farm? Luna was already banned out, banned out, so there's nothing real, you know, problematic about that. There's a couple of the heroes that you could take away that might be just as good uh, in terms of safe lane farming. And I do this every time. I, I I have some thoughts on the back of my head of which heroes they would pick or ban and it just it doesn't it, it doesn't compute for whatever reason. So we'll just wait and see. 
44 seconds left to reserve time. They ban up the Spectre. They want to make sure Haunt is not a thing. And that global presence, along with the Storm Spirit, very dangerous. Clockwork as well with that hookshot initiation. They can fight whenever, and I feel like that's a huge ban for Team Empire. I'm not sure if Next KZ would have picked it to begin with. That's a very hard carry, and somebody that is okay early on, but not really the best. He could get his desolate damage going. Obviously, dispersion's pretty nice as well, but Five it's tough to play that hero, especially in a defensive tri lane or a defensive dual lane with a Chen in the jungle and ancient apparition Reserve helping you in lane. Time. You would have chilling touch, but at this point, it doesn't matter. The hero's not in the pool anyway, so it's gone. One minute and 38 seconds left for next KZ now. Their pick, ban, I should say, is going to be the lifestealer, interestingly pick. enough. Just to make sure that you don't have that in that safe lane. So safe lane farmer is going to come out here in the next two picks. They're going to go for the Doom on Team Empire. They want to try to bring down that Storm Spirit. They don't want to let him fight and be kind of effective with his Electric Vortex and Ball Lightning. So that's going to be the point of the Doom here. And he'll be in, I think, a uh, defensive tri lane coming out. They're not going to aggro the Doom. He can't really accomplish a whole lot early on in the game. Aggroing a Doom would be very, very difficult. Batrider's, you know, good enough in the off lane as it is. They can do a 2-1-2 if they really want to, especially considering there is going to be a Chen in the jungle, Ten but seconds, that maybe. might backfire on Team Empire's side. Still have to wait and see. There's only 1 minute and 34 seconds, seconds left for reserve time for next KZ. Their choice is going to get picked up soon, whatever that may be. Reserve time. Somebody to combine up with the Storm Spirit, like a Lifestealer, would have been good, but that's not going to be the case anymore, as it's banned out. Faceless They're going to go for the Faceless Void, and I almost had an inkling that this was going to be one of these picks. And Faceless Void with the Chronosphere, really difficult to shut down. The problem is, if you go for Mask of Madness and you don't get everybody in the Chronosphere, you have a good chance of taking a lot of damage and even falling. And that's going to be the choice. Is Mantis going to be going for that Mask of Madness build? That's something that we have to watch and wait and see. I mean, he has that opportunity. Next KZ and Team Empire, they're going to jump into game number two here. Next KZ, they don't want to go down to that loser's bracket. Empire, they want to swing this 2-0 and get moving on to the grand finals here and secure themselves at the very least $5,000 by getting second place. Prepare but for battle. really their eyes are on the prize. Empire looking for first place right now. And, and Silent, the man that's going to be able to carry them to victory in that case. He'll be on the Doom heading to this bottom lane. Always want to fly, going to be on the Bane. Vengscore is going to be on the Dazzle to help him out in that lane as well. Mid lane resolution invoker going for the null talisman, some tangos, and uh, yeah, that's about it. He'll probably be going for Quas Exhort like I talked about in the last game. Generally, when you see null talisman, it's Quas Exhort 99% of the time, but things can change. Resolution can go for his own build. Mag throwing up a ward here in the top jungle. He'll be on the bat rider of the round out empire's lineup. For next KZ, you've got Mantis. He'll be on the faceless void. Equal's gonna be on the Chen jungling along. Reeves is gonna be on the ancient apparition. We'll see mid, Waterfaka on the Storm Spirit. He's a great mid player, but is it going to be enough against Resolution? And offlane Stallcat going to be on the clockwork here. Empire, they don't want to drop a game this tournament, but it certainly could come at the hands of next KZ. The underdogs, for certain. I mean, these guys are coming in, and I'm sure the odds are not in their favor in terms of the betting. But they've been putting on a good show thus far. They've done a nice job of getting kills here and there, being aggressive. I mean, the last game started with a freaking 4-on-4... Four four uh, just four kills going to each side, essentially. That was before the zero minute mark. So it's not lacking for action. This game might be a bit slower paced because of the lanes and the way they kind of work out. Batrider, once again, I think it's going to come down to Mag and when he gets his blink dagger. Assuming he has the okay enough time here, he should get a decently timed blink, maybe about 10 to 12 minutes, and that's when I think we'll start seeing some more aggressive play, a bit of pickup coming into Empire's play here. On the other side, next KZ, it's going to come down to level 6 for a couple of heroes. Reeves on the Ancient Apparition, when they want to push with the Chen, assuming he gets level 6 as well. Storm Spirit getting level 6, it really comes down to their levels, essentially. And less about the farm and the items they get. We'll see Doom, he's going to devour a creep real quick here. He's looking for a Seder and says, decides to go for the Alpha Wolf real quick and just delete that. Head back to lane, get a bit of extra gold. Has the Pack Leader's Aura and the Critical Strike on top of that. Uh, SC-47 looking to just go ahead and block some creeps here, and, and this means now that Silent is not going to have a lot to farm. He's going to have to sit under the tower if he wants to get any CS right now, sadly. And that's Stallcat doing work. Always want to fly sitting here, ready to go Denied. on Stallcat if he needs to. He's got nothing skilled up yet, could go for that brain tap, can go for Nightmare and Feeble even. Denied. And Stallcat actually being kind of annoying here to the Doom. Silent. 
Uh, he's on the Doom right now. Doom's not Midnight. one of the best farmers in the world. He does have the Devourer, and if you get a Midas, then he certainly becomes a force to be reckoned with and, and one of the best in the game. But early on, he's not able to do much. He's got to try to get just CS the normal way. Right-click it, Devour up when you can. And his animation is okay. His damage is all right as well, but isn't enough. Up in that top lane, Mantis already taking some harass here. Coming out from Mag, using a sticky napalm. Reeves trying to zone him out right now. Chen, nowhere near the engagement. He's in the jungle. Did not get a wild wing early on, so no RNG for him. He's not going to stack up and get a couple of quick levels from Tornado. Cyclone, even. Wada Faka in the mid lane right now. Six last hits for him. Invoker's got seven. Resolution already pumping up the Forge Spirit. Meanwhile, First Blood in the bottom lane. Doom's going to grab it there. Silent picking up a big kill. And that Clockwork not going to bother him, at least for right now. Sitting on seven last hits. Devour going through. Critical Strike, I'm sure, being pretty useful in that engagement, plus the pack leader's aura. Resolution going to continue to CS, and heading back to the lane is going to be Clockwork. So Stallcat already level 2, but still win. maybe in trouble there. Mag sitting at level 3, getting to his Tranquils. He's going to head back home, maybe head to the jungle for a bit, or head back into lane. We have saw this before. Mag getting up, getting his Tranquils, farming away with those in the jungle or in lane. Doesn't matter which, as long as you get those Tranquils early on. And he does so by just running back to the base, getting mana on top of that. And he's not even missing out on them that cheer. It's not like he's harassing Mantis to stop him from CSing. Ace says we got to get a pause here real quick. Or 4CE. Looks like there is a bit of an issue coming out from the Russian caster. So hopefully we'll get that sorted out in just a couple of moments, obviously. Stallcat now in the bottom lane. He's back here. He's ready to go. Sitting on the backside. No Nightmare Mana coming out from the Bane just yet. But it's getting close. About 30 or so away. And then he'll have it, which is about 30 seconds. Well, maybe a bit less. Yeah, no, it's actually 30 because he's got one mana regen a second here. Vanksgore stacking up a couple of camps potentially. They threw out this ward right now. Don't know. This shouldn't block. I think he just pulled and these creep camps are dead and they'll respawn at the top three minutes in. Vanksgore is looking to stack up this camp. Make sure that that Blink Dagger is online for this Batrider as early as possible. Mag will get that. He's going to buy a TP scroll potentially and then go back up top at some point in time. All the while, though, you how is Mantis going to be with Free Farm here? What's his item going to be? Is he going to go for something greedy like a Midas or a Battle Fury? Is he going to pick up his Mask first? Is he even going to go for Mask of Madness? All of these questions need answering, and Mantis will he'll provide the answer, assuming we get that far in the game. Top tower Chilling Touch did go. They want to try to take this Tier 1 tower, at least put some pressure on it right now. Mag's going to push them away with Firefly and Sticky Napalm. All the meanwhile... Clockwork sitting in the bottom lane, just trying to leech anything he can get, but they're pulling now. Well, they're thinking about pulling anyway for bank score. You can see Silent still CSing the lane here. Missing the Devour, however. 15 last hits for him. Up in the top lane, Mantis, however, sitting at 19. So, kind of a role reversal, whereas Mantis saw a bit of a tough time getting last hits in the previous game. In this game, Silent's kind of having that same sort of deal. But not as bad. He's only two behind Mantis right now. He's got seven denies as well. So he's really not doing that poorly. And he might even go for a Midas because he's got 1,300 gold saved up now. He can be aggressive a bit later with it. Once he gets a couple items going his way. Batrider, 200 gold the bank for him. He's sitting at level four. He's getting zoned out very hard. Chilling Touch is available if they want to use a Cold Feet as well. But there's nothing to combine up unless he can get a Time Lock proc. They need something like a Chronosphere. Chronosphere, Ice Blast, deadly combo. And this is what they're going for, I think. Reeves throwing out the Ice Blast into the Chronosphere will do a lot of damage. And Empire, honestly, I don't know if they can afford that kind of damage. So they've got to be careful when that Chronosphere is up and ready to go. The Ice Blast, same thing with that. Rune Control going for Waterfucker right now. He is sitting at, how many last hits? 17. Three behind the Invoker, but Invoker's not going to grab Rune Control. Vanksquare coming through, grabbing the Illusion. Poison Touch is up. Shadow Wave flies through as well to the Illusions, making sure Waterfuck is zoned back out. No rune control. He either has to use his salve or his bottle to regen up a bit. In the meantime, Mag now farming the jungle here. Cold Feet's going to fly, not really doing anything. Firefly still going through, still doing damage to this Elber Smasher. He's got to go to the low ground, however, just because he doesn't want to take any harass from Mantis. 600 gold. The Blink Dagger. The race to it, it's on. Midas recipe now delivered to Silent. Just needs the Gloves of Haste. Once he gets those... Now his farm is going to start going crazy. Almost level 6 on top of that. Invoker, he's going to be going for Midas. I'd assume he's already got the Globe's face done. He's probably not going for Treads. You can do that on a Quas Exhort, but it's all the same it'd be very interesting to see. Resolution has a couple of options. 
Always want to fly in Vangscore. They're still just kind of pulling, making sure that this lane goes directly to Silent. He gets plenty of experience. He doesn't have any issues, and so far that's the case. They even got first blood there too, so... They're not roaming. They're not really getting experience except from these pulls. Actually, Vangscore is level 4 right now. The Bane, probably sitting up at 3. In fact, he is. So, the experience-wise, the only problem is Bane's level 3, and, and that's about it. He's only one level behind and not even by that much. Midas is now done for the Doom. Batrider, 700, 800 gold in the bank now. Resolution, Midas is almost done for him. He's missing out a couple of CS here, but other than that, it's fine. Looking for Rune Control, Wadafaka, maybe looking for that 6 minute rune top. Not really spawned yet, obviously. The Four Spirit's going to go a bit early, and it actually might die here and will in another second. And now, always want to fly. No ward up here, but he's looking for that bottom rune. It's not there. Oh, the Skeleton Warrior is going to make sure this is safe for Wadafaka. He'll pick it up and he'll head top, at least for the time being. But the Four Spirits is going to catch him out here, so they know that he's making his way up to that top lane at least for right now. Resolution still getting close to that Midas. 42 last hits, though, for Radiant's the Faceless Void. Is under attack. Still getting some CS. My face when I have no face. Faceless Void. 200 gold in the bank right now. With the Midas up and ready to go, I think he might have got his a bit later than the Doom. But I'm not sure considering he has more CS. The first blood is, I think, the more telling factor for Silence. So. Tower is under attack. His Devourer also, and this gives him a bit more farm. Radiant whereas you don't have that luxury for Mantis, unless he goes for a Battle Fury. Stallcat getting caught in a position to right click. So much damage from the Doom. Just two hits, plus the Poison Touches, an easy kill coming out. No Doom necessary. And they grab an easy one there. He'll continue to CS in lane while this is all going down in the top lane. Tier 1 tower taking a bit of damage here. The Chen has finally roamed through. He's getting close to 6, but he wanted to be a part of the action early on. Mantis will take the last end of the tower. That's certainly a nice little influx. Most people, though, on the Radiant side will not care about their top Tier 1 or even Tier 2 tower, at least until it becomes kind of an issue where they can actually defend it. In this situation, they can't. They have to deal with Chronosphere. Sitting behind him, Reeves almost has Ice Blast now. The Chen was there not too long ago, almost with Hand of God. And that's a lot of abilities that would make it very difficult for Empire to fight into Mantis and the rest of Next KZ. Now the Midas done for Resolution a bit late. Waterfucker doesn't have one yet. He's going to be going for Treads instead, it seems. Not a surprise there, considering he's a Storm Spirit. Roaming through Silent and Mag, they're just going to try to get farmed together in the jungle. It looks like maybe Silent's going to go home and get some mana first. It seems to be the case, and he wants to be aggressive now with that Doom. There's no other reason to, to head home unless you need mana. And he doesn't need it to farm. So it looks like he is going to rotate somewhere here in the near future. Maybe to help out the Bane up in the top lane, maybe to go for a kill mid on that Storm Spirit resolution is around. So he's got Cold Snap, Mag, and this is the timing they're looking for. Get mana, get a couple of stacks going. Lasso is going to be up with the Blink Dagger, and then start looking for kills. Mag, actually, Silent actually TP'd back to the lane, so it looks like he does want to just keep CSing, at least for right now. But he wanted mana to be able to fight in lane in case anyone came down, and Waterfuck is the one to do it. He's got Ball Lighting, he has a DD Rune as well, they've got to be careful. The mid lane resolution sitting very far back in this little alcove of trees. His own little just hiding spot. Beautiful. Stallcat ready to initiate with Hookshot. They've got their sights set on resolution right now. It's going to be tough. Mag's not too far behind. He's got mana to lasso, but he doesn't want to fight until he has that blink dagger. It's 100 gold away. If he dies now, it'd be pretty detrimental. And it looks like next KZ they're going to give up. They don't want to go for the kill. They're going to head bottom instead. And to go on a Doom would be very questionable. He has enough mana to use it. But he's going to get hookshotted potentially. Looks like they see them coming through. Vangscore is going to try to meet him halfway there. He doesn't want to get hookshotted. Ball Lightning coming through right now. Doom's got to go for Silent. He's getting pulled in. The cogs are up. Pulling him out. Not just yet. Doom not going. Silent in trouble. Nice shallow grave. There's the hand of God. SC47. Stallcat's going to go down. Waterfucker going to get chased as well. They don't have any way to lock him down other than Poison Touch. He's out of mana. There goes the Doom. Silent about to fall. One more right click. The Cold Feet will do the job, but they lose Waterfucker instead. A two for one trade. Reeves getting caught out. Is there any mana to do anything? The Shadow Wave doing work. Reeves already used the Ice Blast. Sunstrike got him. Resolution picks up the kill. Stallcat will TP in now. Get back to it. Radiance top tower is All while that's happening. Mantis now sitting on 2,500 gold. Pushing into the tier 2 tower. Giving it some damage. Some casual damage. You know how it is. 
Rotating up top, Mag smoked up, Blink Dagger, Lasso. Can they get a kill this time? Can they get something going? And it's at that 10 minute time that I talked about that he has this Blink Dagger. Instead, he's going to find equal. Firefly, Lasso, Sticky Napalm, Sunstrike. No, he brought him out of it. It might not be enough anymore. Nice Centaur Conqueror Stomp coming through. Mag taking a lot of damage. He's going to fall. Equal gets a kill solo up against Mag in what was maybe a very one-sided battle until that Sunstrike missed. Silent. Getting hit up by Mantis. He is going for the Battle Fury. The greediest of builds for a Faceless Void. I haven't seen this since Fear did it not too long ago. Back when old EG was the thing. A couple of others have done it since then, but... It's a very, very greedy build. He wants to see us for days. He's got 72 already. But this is going to take a long time for him to get online. Once he starts getting going, however, once that Battle Fury is up and he's got treads, it's going to be nothing but farming for days, really. And then at that point, his next item going to be nice. But Fiend's Grip is going to go. The Sun Strike as well. They might even do him if necessary. Not going to fly. They don't even need it. Too much damage coming through from Empire. Big pickup. That's going to put him back on his Battle Fury that I talked about. Radiance Middle Tower. Resolution picking up his four staff. The Forge Spirits used up as well. And now Wadafaka working on the tier one tower mid. Empire looking to Dyer's try to converge on top. And so is next KZ. They've got a smoke of the sea. Stallcat ready to hook shot in. Silent might be the target here. There Silent in some trouble right now. He's gonna doom up Stallcat a bit too late. Sunstrike's gonna fly. Stallcat will go down, but Silent in trouble. Nice shallow grave again from Vangsor. Can he TP out? No, he will go down. That'll be Waterfucker. No, Chen grabbing the kill. Mantis now using that Chronosphere, grabbing one, maybe two here. Always want to fly, is gonna fall. Double kill for equal. Big pickup for next KZ. The Chronosphere working out. Giving them a couple of kills, plus the nice hookshot coming through. The Doom had to be used on the clockwork, but they'll take that trade any day of the week. And next KZ, they're feeling Dyer's okay about their chances. 2,000 gold still going the way Dyer's of Empire. And that might shift in a couple of moments. Experience-wise, it's still 2,000 in favor of Empire. Blank Lasso, Sunstrike coming through. Wadafaka gets blown up. The combo plays. Sunstrike so good in that regard. Stallcat trying to chase after Resolution. Cold Snap's going to fly. Ice Blast. Resolution going to be in trouble. Four step out, but he's going to shatter here to the Ice Blast. At the very least, he's trying to survive. Getting very low. Is he going to go down? No, he stays alive. I thought for sure. Vankster was there with the Shallow Grave just in case, but it seemed like he didn't even need to use it. Vankster knew he didn't want to put that Shallow Grave on cooldown there. What a play. The Invoker TP's home. He stays alive. Sunstrike will get queued up again if he wants to. Hand of Midas is ready and willing to be used. Speaking of that... Battle Fury getting very close, just needs the broadsword, and after that, that'll be about a 15 minute Battle Fury at the very latest, and that's pretty good timing considering he went for a Midas first, he has Boots of Speed, and he's a Faceless Void, so... Silent, he's gotta be worrying about this. He's only level 11, he's got Tread, or Phase, excuse me, Drum as well, but is that gonna be enough? We've seen already the superior team fight from Next KZ can do work if all of their, all of their abilities are up. Observer Ward getting placed down from Reeves. Nice placement there. I'm going to give them vision. Purple's pinging this out. Looks like Bane knows that this is placed there. Uh, I'm not sure if this ward would have spotted it out. Looks like it doesn't have vision over on that side, but this ward might. Sentry wards are up here on the low ground, just trying to counter ward everything. Haste rune down to that bottom rune spot. That's going to be picked up by Waterfaka. Going to look for a fight here with it. He's going Orchid. He's got already two Robe of the Magi. Going to give him that extra mana to work with the extra intelligence, obviously. And so far, they're just kind of sitting around silent, at least Bane is, just making sure Silent's fine. He's got that TP. Tier 1 towers have not yet fallen. We saw last game Empire just take Tier 1 after Tier 1, but right now it's Next KZ performing the same tactics on Team Empire right now. And they don't even need Mantis. He can just farm for days. He could just sit up there, Midas, Cleave, with his Battle Fury when he has it. But next KZ sitting mid means that they're wasting time, they're losing experience, whereas Silent, he's farming bottom, and he's pushing the tower at least a bit. Reeves has to rotate over, he has Ice Blast, so he doesn't need to be there in the engagement. One of the better things about Ancient Apparition is that you could just launch ults, and that's kind of all you really need to do. Yes, it would be nice to have Chilling Touch, but Ice Blast is your main contribution to a team fight, so... You're just a walking R button at that point. 
always want to fly silent they're going to back off to the jungle he'll devour some creeps here uses Midas and just generally CS Mantis his battle fury flying out to him right now at 15 minutes in it looks like 1530 maybe 16 by the time it gets there so real early battle fury for Mantis and this is going to give them the groundwork to get to game number three Empire, though, they want to take the fight to XKZ. They have a smoke of deceit. They're going to walk up to the high ground right now. They're going to try to find a pickoff here. Chen backs away. They're going to just dive right past the tower, looking for anything else. Cold Snap's going to go down. Level death, blank, lasso not even necessary. TP coming through. Now, Stall Cat, maybe not your best TP. There's the Fiend's Grip. Ice Blast going to fly. Sunstrike going to go as well. Hookshot, nice shallow grave again coming up from Banksor. This guy is a player. Waterfucker doomed up. Lasso on the backside. Waterfucker getting chased down. So is Mantis. He's got his Chronosphere. Is he going to use it? Doesn't need to use it just on Banksor right now. Buyback's coming through. Waterfucker wants to fight. Silent needs to back away. Resolution right next to a Central Ward. No, my friend. That is not where you want to be. He will fall. In the end, it's a three for two trade because of the buyback. Now, Waterfucker looking for more. Silent getting caught out of position. Chronosphere might go if necessary, and it will. Mantis gonna right click down Silent. Four dead. They're gonna work on the tier one tower after all is said and done. Death, it's fulfilled. So, next KZ. They've got a tie game in terms of kills. There's still this gold lead for Empire, but it's not by much at 16, 17 minutes in. Almost 2,000, but dipping down drastically. Experience lead's already at zero, so. Next KZ are, are looking strong. Waterfark has died a couple of times to the Doom, but more so than anything, he's been in the right place at the right time. Arguably one of Next KZ's, if not the best player. He's done a lot of work in the Tech Labs Cup Qualifier. He's really put on a show here in the past couple of games. Blade Mail now done. That's for the Clockwork. Pretty early Blade Mail too. 17 minutes in, considering what he's going up against in that bottom lane. Mantis with the Battle Fury now, and the Mask of Mad is coming out pretty soon as well. So, <clears throat> he's going to have a lot of attack speed. He's already got Treads. He's already got a Midas, which gives you a bit of attack speed, and then a Mask of Madness on top of that, which is... Pretty fast in terms of attack speed. Shadowblade going to go for Silence. Something that we don't see a lot of on Dooms anymore. They go for this hard carry kind of build. They pick up the Lothars and they try to right-click people down. Then level death them and Doom them up Dyer's if they need to. But they'll look for their first Tier 1 tower of the game. And we've seen this so often. If you're giving up a Tier 1 tower top on the Dire team, it probably means you're taking Roche. And that's exactly what it means for them now. Mantis Radiant's with an Aegis might be tough to bring down. They might give it to Waterfaka instead, which I would probably prefer. As he's proven to be the more important Dyer's hero, I think, when it comes to team fights. Flare flies through. They don't know they're in Roche right now. You can see Empire playing very passively. Had they known they were in that Roshan pit, they would have taken this tower already. But Silent's going to take it nonetheless. Tower will fall, or it's going to get forwarded. They're going to take Roche. Are they going to TP for this? It'd have to be a mass TP. It looks like Silent will get the right click on the tower. Finish it off. The last hit's done there. And now next KZ, they want to work down to this bottom tier 1 tower. And if you're... Empire, you're probably not fighting into this because of the Aegis. They put it up on the Faceless Void. I would have preferred it to see on Waterfaka, but it works just as well. Void getting it means that he can stay alive. His Chrono will already have been used if he used it in, I guess, the fight previously, or his previous life, if you will. But it's going to be tough. Silent now working on getting towards the Tier 2 Tower and putting some damage there. Next KZ, they're about to take a Tier 1 Tower of their own. Resolution with the Forge Spirits doing some work here. He's going to make some new ones as well. Fortification was used. TP's coming back through. Always want to fly. And Resolution trying to push this TP coming. They want to try to get something out of this. Hook shot in. Always want to fly. He should be dead for certain. Battery Soap flying through. Brain Sap not able to get the kill or at least do anything really. But now the Tier 2 Tower taking a bit of damage. They have to walk up if they want to try to defend that. They have to make a choice. The Invoker did get that Tier 1 Tower. So they only picked up the kill on the Bane. And that's it. They also lost some damage on that tier 2. So even when next KZ seem to be in a position where they can definitely take this late, Radiance bottom tower is it's still attack. very scary. Silent picks up the courier. Blink lasso. Doom on Mantis right now. He cannot get out. He does have the Aegis, luckily. But where is his team? Ice Blast is going to come through. Silent doesn't want to push his luck. They'll back off now. Mantis will get away scot-free. But, well, I guess not scot-free if you consider the fact that he lost his Aegis. Vanscore. Mag. Silent. Grouped up together. Maybe a BKB coming out for the Doom now? He has that Mirthful Hammer. 
Might be nice to have against the Storm Spirit. Aghanim Scepter, now done already for the AA at 20 minutes in. That's a no Midas Aghanim Scepter coming out for the Ancient Apparition, who is a support and one of the only supports coming out in that lane for that Faceless Void. So the fact that he has that item is somewhat impressive. Necro level 2 for the Invoker. He's already got his 4 staff. We've seen this build so often from Quasic Zord Invokers nowadays. He actually has 1 point into Wex now as well, which gives him the ability to Ghostwalk, which we saw. Unfortunately, he did go down in the end. Ogre Club is the only item rena remaining for Silent to finish up his BKB. Once he has that, they might start fighting a bit more aggressively. There still is no Aegis as Mantis did lose it in that last fight, or I guess pick off. But Resolution, Necro 3, that's really, I think, when they're going to push the pedal to the metal, to use a cliche. Mag, he's going for a BKB of his own. He has the four steps, so Blink Force Initiation is there and ready. BKB is going to be the issue. And I think, really, Waterfrock is going to have to be the Doom target, even if there is that Faceless Void. Unless he, I guess, doesn't get that Chronosphere off and Faceless Void is a more opportune target, I guess you can use it as a case-by-case -case basis. The Doom isn't always, you know, so cut and dry. In terms of map control, really the only ward that's in an okay position, they have this actually kind of on the opposite of ends of the map here. You can see they're just covering kind of towards the, uh, they're covering towards the lane, just trying to get vision at least a little bit into the jungle, but that's it. The rest of the ward coverage is either centered around Roche or non-existent. Orchid's still not done for Wadafaka right now, which is actually surprising considering the game he's had. He is very close. I think it might be on the Courier. No, he can't buy it. He might just wait because, the well, he doesn't have the recipe anyway, so it doesn't matter. He still needs to get to that 700 gold. Pick that up. His second Oblivion Staff is already done. Resolution now pushing in top. His Necro 3 is ready to go. Reeves is here. He's got that Ice Blast ready to go. His trigger finger is itching. The Smoke of Deceit Gang for next 47, or next KZ, excuse me. They're going to look to jump on Vankscore, and he's all alone. He has a Ghost Scepter, he has a TP scroll, now they're going to turn their attention towards the jungle, maybe look for Bane. He's going to back off towards that Tier 2 tower. They're kind of leaving Reeves alone, they're leaving him hanging out to dry. Now they're going to head mid, Silent, not in the best place. He's got the Shadow Blade, luckily, but do they have detection? I'm sure they do, they're going to hookshot in anyways. And they're going to do a lot of damage. BKB going to go through. Silent taking a lot. Lothar's is going to fly as well. Doom is up. He's going to try to back away. Can't do so. He attacked right after he used uh, that Lothar's. And they might not have seen him. I think they might have thrown a sentry down. In fact, they did. So, big pick off. Big, big pick off. And now, next KZ. They haven't lost anybody in quite some time. Reeves might be the first in that line. Sunstrike's going to go. It's going to hit up there. Reeves taking some damage. Flame break. Hand of God going. Mantis looking for a Chronos. He's going to find it on Mag. Mag in trouble. Mask of Madden is going to town. Waterfuck a ball lightning right up to the edge of that Chronosphere. Just saying hi. Then backing off. Two down immediately for Empire. And Resolution's going to force staff to the low ground saying, no, I don't think it's safe to be here anymore. So the smoke gank pays off. Now Empire is starting to lose any sort of advantage they had. It's only a 1,000 gold lead for them. Mantis is farming his life away. The experience lead is 5,000 in XKZ's favor, and Mantis is getting close to his next side. He's got 4,000 gold to make. I mean, he could buy whatever the hell he wants to at this point, and honestly, he'd be fine. As long as it's not a shotgun. He's going to farm. Doom's up here as well. So he's got to be careful, but we'll see. As it stands right now, they're looking to take this to game three, and they're not too far off from doing that. They just need a couple of team fights and to take some more towers, because the tier two towers are still up and ready to go. They're in fighting shape. There is actually a tier one tower down in this bottom lane that Empire can't really get a hold of. And they have to feel like this game is somewhat slipping away from them. It really comes down to a big doom and a big lasso. If those two things can co excuse me, can go inside, then they'll, oh gosh, but this is not the fight you're looking for. They blink away, they shadow blade away, equal. He was the one in front. Had it been maybe somebody like a clockwork, they'd probably get a kill or two there, but they're bottom. Ball lightning's gonna come through. Looking for Vanscore, he's gonna use his Ghost Scepter now. Flare's gonna go, Orchid's up. 
Maybe a nightmare to go through. Hook shot in. Bank score. He's still silenced. Fiend's grip's gonna fly. Bank score. Shallow grave. He gets it. The sun strike. The deafening blast. SC47. Soulcat in trouble. They'll both fall. What a turnaround. What a shallow grave to save his own life. Again, the deafening blast onto two. The sun strike splitting up the damage. It is maxed out. Doing so much work. And finally, they might actually have room to get this tier one tower in this lane. Doom makes his way here. They've got four heroes on this side of the map. Mag's pretty much across the Dyer's way. Fortification is going to go, but that's only going to help a bit, it seems. Mantis is ready to time walk in and chrono at a moment's notice. Dyer's bottom tower Equals here as well, but the, the clockwork just going down. They need that potential initiation from long range, and Modifaka would be useful as well. <clears throat> 5,200 gold for Faceless Void now, and his item choices... Well, we'll see what it's going to be here as we jump into the 26th minute mark of the game. Mag now backing away his BKB, getting closer and closer and closer to completion. Top tower Just needs the recipe. Silent already has this. He's used it once in a pretty rough situation, I'd say. 1800 gold, blink lasso, sunstrike maybe going to go here on Reeves. They've got no follow-up. Reeves going to get away. Flame break going to just miss. Hookshot and Mag, too aggressive. Ice blast flying through. He cogged up and he was trying to firefly over it, but it just did not work out. So, Stallcat getting the kill, Silent, looking for something, but the rest of the team are right around here. Mantis, they know this is, they know this Doom is here. They're chasing after Silent. Oh, BKB, a bit inopportune because he did use that Chronosphere. Sunstrike doing a lot of damage to Mantis. Now Ball Lightning, always want to fly with here for whatever reason. He's going to fall as well, double kill for Mantis. Next KZ, they're getting back into it. They want a tier two tower, or they want Roche or they just want map control. Any one of the three is probably fine with them. They'll sack up mid right now. They've got two Centaur Conquerors and a Wild Wing Ripper leading the way. Equal's gonna try to put at least some damage here. Everyone's rotating through. Ice Blast now coming in. Stallcat trying to flight. Resolution taking a bit of damage there as well from that Ice Blast. Now backing off, Hookshot going through. He tried to TP out, didn't work out. Hand of God going as well. Alacrity, Resolution, he's trying to get whatever he got left. And he's gonna use the Deafening Blast to secure the kill. Ball Lightning from Awadafaka. Actually, he gets shattered anyway, so Waterfucker not even necessary to do that. Mag, getting caught way out of position. Stunned up, I believe, by the Centaur Conqueror. Equal, he's out of position right now. Nightmare, not there. Always want to fly. No four staff, no way to really get there and actually get the kill on Equal. Now the Roshan. Mantis taking him down very low. Mantis, his item are Daedalus. Disgusting amounts of damage are about to be done by Mantis here. They've taken this late enough, and all of a sudden, with that Aegis, they can maybe fight a bit more aggressively with that Daedalus. Might want another item before he does anything too hasty. Always want to fly. Gonna look for that double damage rune. Breaks up first on that poor Wildwing Ripper. I'm sure had a wife and kids. Down bottom, Wadafaka. Mantis. And the Ancient Apparition are sitting here together, just strolling along. Try to finagle this tier 2 tower bottom, potentially. Max still wants that BKB recipe, and he's, once again, getting close, but... What good is a BKB going to do if you're chronoed up? Lasso is going to be a big, important part of their game plan against this Faceless Void. And at some point, he may even invest in a Lincoln Sphere. I'm sure the Doom's doing that. At least soon. He's got 1,600 gold in the bank. Nothing on the Courier, I don't believe, but Radiant's he's going to try to fight. Ball Lightning. Mag getting caught out once again. Wadafaka with a big pick up there. The Ice Blast flew through as well. Sound's going to go down bottom. They're going to try to fight this. Chronosphere always want to fly. In trouble. Look at the crits. Resolution going to be next. Look at how much damage he's taking. Nice shallow grave. Mantis has got to back off. Doom might go through. They're going to wait for it. It seems like Mantis. There's the Aegis, but the rest of the team for next KZ is coming. Silent cannot afford to fight. And the Necro minions are going to go through. Doom is up on Mantis right now. He's going to fall. He's done for 70 seconds, but now Wadafaka has free reign over this fight, but he's taking a lot of damage from the Necro units. He's out of mana right now, getting sent back home from Equal. Nice play there. Equal now on the chase. Sunstrike, boom, doing a lot of damage. Not enough. Four step further. There's the Shadow Blade coming through. They don't want to chase. Now Stallcat ready to fight on Silent if he wants to try to hook shot in, but it's on cooldown for 32 seconds, so not available. Centaur Conqueror Stomp Cog's gonna just miss there. Nice try. So they lose Mantis, but they take the tier 2 tower. Was not denied, I don't believe. It, it actually was. Bank score got it. This guy is a goddamn player. I'll tell you what. This man knows how to play Dota. 
It's like we've seen this movie before. Dyer's we know how good he can be. And right now he's showing it off. Resolution, trying to get towards the site device. He's actually only 200 gold away, so it won't be trying for much longer. Mag, getting to a BKB, finally. It seemed like a long, arduous process, but it really wasn't that bad, I think. He did go down a couple of times in the past five or ten minutes or so, so it's not been the best couple of minutes for him, but he's still okay. Scythe, now done for resolution. He's ready to fight. He's ready to go. Silent. He's hanging on Assault Kuras right now. That's going to be some nice damage to the armor reduction as well, but... How many more fights can you have where you're catching Mantis out of position, you've got that Doom to go, and then you have to deal with Wadafaka also? He is going to be going for the Lincoln Sphere, I'm almost sure of it. He could go for the Scythe if he wants to be a bit more aggressive. He has the Ultimate Orb, so either or are fine. He might not be the Doom target. He should be the Lasso target if he's not the Doom target, though. But now if you look at the Gold Graph, there still is a lead for Empire somehow. They are still in this game. Even though Mantis has a ridiculous amount of farm, the net worth does tell the story, though. The top four, three of them are Empire. The furthest up is going to be Mantis, and the question remains, how hard can he carry this game? Mouse Lag coming up from Vanscore right now. They're getting ready to defend. A bit of a puppy pause, 1-800 Merlin, if you will. Sitting on the sides, four staff ready to go for Mag. They should know he's in this vicinity. It's kind of a hiding spot for most Batriders. Always want to fly sitting back. He's trying to go for BKB himself, it looks like, and not for four staff just to get into a better position. They've already got enough of that on the team. Invoker resolution maxed up Invoke. He's got every spell at his disposal right now. Advanced score wants to go. This could be a make or break moment here. He's gonna test out his He's gonna test out his mouse real quick. Looks like it's doing okay. Silence gonna load Thars away, making sure he stays alive and out of the fray, at least for now. Wildwing getting vision here with the tornado, roaming through. And actually canceling the blink of a couple heroes if it gets close enough to the Batrider. He's got to be careful. Now it's on cooldown. He's got to notice that's an issue. Tornado is really the problem here. They've got to take this creep down. It's going to be tough. The Fort Spirits can't get close enough. They've got to back off the Tornado. This is really the big problem. It's Batrider, he can't get that blink off. Now he can. It's available and up and ready to go. Sunstrike's going to fly. Stallcat walks right back into it. And Equal might say, okay, I'm going to send you home. Or I'm going to mech you up or something. Right now he's not doing anything. Nightmare is up. That'll be on the Wild Wing just to make sure it stops the Tornado. Now that's on cooldown for 28 seconds. Ice Vortex on the high ground just to make sure they have some vision of what's going on. Waterfucker might jump in. Silent all the while. Can't make up his mind. What is he going to do? Is he going to come in from the side? Is he going to go back home? Is he going to try to farm up? He wants to fight with the team, and this is very interesting. Blank, Lasso, four staff back. They're going to try to go on Mantis here. The Meatball flying through as well. The Hand of God, can they get the kill? He gets sent back home right now. They cannot fight any further. Stallcat trying to delay, getting that hook shot. He will be the only one to fall. No, Wadafaka getting Fiend's grip. He's going to get brought down as well. A two for nothing trade. Meanwhile, equal, getting caught in a position. Resolution doing work. Next KZ, they lose three. They had to send back Mantis home. He wasn't even that low, but they felt... He was too important to let die. And now, three kills going the way of Empire. Net worth starting to get back into it for resolution. He's starting to get close to Mantis here. The Necro Book is up for the Invoker. He's had that for some time. The Scythe, which he just picked up not too long ago. 2,000 gold. Ice Blast. Boom. Aghanim Scepter up for the Ancient Apparition, like we talked about already. He's going to be going for a Scythe Vice, it looks like. And they want this Tier 2 tower. There is a Faceless Void. He's going to back off. He doesn't want to be a part of this. His Chronosphere is ready to go, but... He doesn't want to get caught out of position. Maybe they can try to fight on the back end of a... Dyer's middle tower just a, I, I guess... Positioning error from Empire. That would really be the only thing the next KZ could do to... Try to engage on them, but... Empire, they're not going to get caught out. They're going to back off now. Roshan up and... Who knows how long, maybe five, six minutes or so. Illusion. In fact, Aegis just went, I believe, for Faceless Void. Well, they did take it down very early on, obviously. Yep, the Bone 7 build now being completed for Mag. He's going to go for that Mask of Madness just to get that move speed going through, just to be able to get back to his team a bit quicker, and well, why not get a bit of extra attack speed going as well. Silent now picking the Haste Rune, speaking of move speed. And he's going to head top and farm with it. 
Now, Smoke of Deceit gank from next KZ, and this seems to be one of the ways they get their kills. They're going to try to find somebody. Luckily for Empire, their jungle is completely and utterly empty. I mean, there is nobody here. Mantis will take a Midas and creep it back off on the way out. But it seems like next KZ won't find a pickoff here, unless for some reason Resolution gets a little too out of position. They're going to run right into this creep wave. Stallcat's going to cut it off. Mantis and the rest of them are going to get revealed. They ping him out. They say, listen, they were in our jungle. We need to contain and have map control. They have some vision. Most of it placed on the left side of the map, interestingly enough. None of it in their own jungle right now. Someone has to have wards. And it looks like nobody does here. Might be on cooldown for a bit. Yeah, it's not actually. So they can pick those up, get some more wards, get some more vision. Map control is going to be a big part of Empire's game plan, I think, going into the later stages of the game. If they get picked off, then it's just going to be Chronosphere into a bad team fight that Empire don't want to deal with. Ball Lightning, Orc of Malevolence, what have you. Empire, they're still in this game. Whether or not Mantis is going to be the hard carry, they actually somehow have a 7,500 gold lead. And a lot of that comes through that last team fight. Experience is actually going in favor of next KZ, but not by much. Mag, Smoke is up, looking to find a lasso target. Stallcat, he's going to try to make his way out of there. Flare's going to go through. They know he's in that vicinity, but if they fight now, they might, all hell might break loose, to be honest. Roche is back up in two minutes. Mask of Madness, Blink, Lasso, Stallcat, caught out of position, forced away, in trouble. There's going to be the Meteor, not doing anything really. Now, Stallcat forcing his way out of there, going to get sent home, the mech as well. Big Chrono going to come out, hitting on Mag, hitting on Always Wanna Fly. Nice Shallow Grave going to go through, he's going to turn his attention to Always Wanna Fly. Now, Resolution getting called out with that Vortex, he's not dead yet. Actually, Waterfucker taking so much damage from that Necro Archer, from the Necro Warrior. Mantis goes down as well. Doom getting that kill, absolutely decimating him with the Pack Looter Zora. Reeves is gonna fall next. Double kill coming out for Silent. A tier three about to fall. Doom, who says he can't carry hard? He's now ahead in net worth of Mantis. Mantis doing what he could, but just not the best Chrono. The Graves, too much for Vankscore right now, just doing work. And then again, the Necro coming out from Resolution. What can you say about Empire's team play? They are looking literally unstoppable here. Stallcat gonna get caught out. Blank Lasso, four step again, four down. Next KZ about to lose their second set of racks. The third is gonna be protected by this tier two tower. But at that point, maybe they even go for tier fours. They can back off to Roche. Empire have a secure advantage right now with two sets of racks down. Next KZ, they don't want to give up, but they're in a position where it's going to be very tough to climb out of this one. The tier 4 tower flying through, taking that damage. Meatball blocking the camera vision for whatever reason. Four spirits going. The last of the tier 4 is about to go down. And only equal can just look on and sit there helplessly. Ancient maybe going to go down. Buyback coming through from the basis void. Silent getting hit up with a test of faith. Now, time walk. No chronosphere target available. Ball lightning long range. Looking for always want to fly. Find Silent instead because he's the one without a BKB on. Mantis now. He's going to get sent back home. Next KZ trying to do what they can. Waterfucker mecked up, but he gets lassoed in the end. Taking some damage. Right click comes through. Mantis. Chronosphere on to two. They need some help. Thanks for He's got the shallow grave. He can use it on Mag if necessary. Mantis gets doomed up. Now going to town on Reeves is going to be silent. There's going to be another one. Double kill for resolution. GG is going to be called. Next KZ. A well played game, but not well played enough. Empire are going to take this series 2-0. to oh. They'll move on to the grand finals. Trying to fight for that $10,000 first place prize. That'll be it right now. We'll take a quick break, guys. I'll try to rekindle my voice for these last two series. We've got a best of one, the losers bracket final coming up between uh, Next KZ and Rock's Kiss again. They played earlier today. Rock's Kiss going down, losing to Next KZ. Next KZ getting the better of them. As it stands, the winner of that series will move on to face Team Empire in that best of three grand final series. So we still have a lot of Dota action coming your way, guys. If you're just joining us, it's been a pleasure casting for you guys. I've been casting since 2 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Time. It is currently about 11, I think, maybe even 12. So been, it's been a while, but a lot of fun nonetheless. If you've enjoyed the cast, follow me at twitter.com slash 32 Of course, you guys can check out the other stuff all around Beyond the Summit. Follow the Twitch channel, follow the Twitter channel. Both are slash Beyond the Summit. We will take a quick break. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>